Professor Hania Sajewska from the Medical University of Warsaw, Poland, spoke about the current advances in human milk oligosaccharides, or HMOs, during a Nestlé Nutrition Institute satellite symposium held at the 6th International Conference on Nutrition and Growth in Valencia, Spain. She said that HMOs have been the topic of discussion for a few years now and touched on the clinical implications of HMOs based on the evidence from randomized controlled trials, or RCTs. What are the drivers of the recent trend in HMOs? During her talk, Professor Sajewska said that advances in the analysis of HMOs and the progress in biotechnology now enables the production of some HMOs. Two HMOs, 2FL and LNNT, approved as safe by the EFSA and FDA, have recently been added to infant formulae, either alone or in combination. Moreover, five new HMOs are currently available. Presenting the clinical evidence of HMOs, Professor Sajewska highlighted the key findings from a randomized controlled clinical study that 2FL, when added to infant formula, is safe, well-tolerated, and supports age-appropriate growth. In a subgroup of this study, the addition of 2FL to infant formulae influenced the inflammatory cytokine profiles similar to that of breastfed infants. In another randomized controlled clinical study, it was found that the combination of 2FL and LNNT, when added to infant formula, is safe, well-tolerated, and supports age-appropriate growth. Furthermore, the authors of this study found less parent-reported respiratory tract infections and a reduced use of antibiotics and antipyretics. According to Professor Sajewska, these are important first results, which can be relevant for clinicians and should be investigated in further clinical studies. A clinician may ask, what are the clinical indications of HMOs? Observational studies suggest an association between HMOs in human milk and a reduced risk of allergy and protection against diarrhea. Also, certain HMOs may play a role in preventing necrotizing enterocolitis. Professor Sajewska mentioned that these are associations and not causations and hence need to be confirmed by clinical intervention studies. Summarizing her talk, Professor Sajewska said that HMOs in human milk provide 150 reasons to breastfeed. Some HMOs can now be added to infant formulae due to advances in biotechnology. Lastly and most importantly, formulae supplemented with 2FL and or LNNT support normal growth, are safe and well tolerated. She also said that clinical trials with five new HMOs added in infant formulae are underway to investigate their role in growth and incidence of illnesses.